Today is December 31st, 2014, so at the end of the year, I want to take a look at the year 2014, and then all previous years, if it's going to give me any indication as to what to expect in the first quarter of next year. What I noticed in 2014 is that at the start of the year here on January the 2nd, we took an immediate, um, pretty immediate dip right into the beginning of February, and then we started our march forward, and we have this beautiful trend line throughout the year that started on January the 2nd, had another touch here in June, late June, July, you know, almost a touch here in September, definite hit here at the beginning of December, and then we had this um, sort of topping right here, which was uh, December the 29th, and then we dropped on the 30th, and we're sort of uh, flat for today. But what we're taking away from this is the drop in the first quarter. And when we look at the stochastic RSI, we can see that we went into the um, overbought area and that we're cycling down. So let's use the um, bird's eye view in mode of wave and go back a year. So let me just you open bird's eye view right here at the bottom of the screen. So let me move this back now, and then I will make sure that I'm moving one year at a time. Now here's 2013. You know, applying a trend line here isn't as pretty, but we had this drop. We had, we had a move up at the beginning of January, but we had this drop towards the end of February, but it was another one of those years where uh, we just kept marching up to a high at the end of the year and a touch of, uh, well, the line I drew was from here to here, so of course there's going to be a touch there. Let's go back. So takeaway is that we moved up at the beginning of January, um, and we had this slight pullback, really slight, um, but a very strong year, so slight pullback at the end of February. So let's go back now and look at 2012. 2012, we just took off right out of the gate, and we really didn't have any pullback until May. So takeaway for 2012 is that the first quarter was pretty darn strong. Let's go back now to 2011. And here we've got January of 2011. Um, we saw a drop in the middle of March, but it took off at the beginning of January. So we're seeing a basic... Um, pattern here that Januarys are strong, Februarys and March can so, can show some weakness, except in uh, 2013. So let's move our window back again, and we're looking now at uh, 2010. Here's January of 2010, a drop into February, but it took off at the beginning of January again, dropped in early February, and then had a massive move up. Um, right to the end of, um, right to the reporting of first quarter earnings. Let's go back another year. And now we're looking at 2009. Here's January. Now in 2009, what happened? We had the Obama inauguration. And we had this immediate, um, what so-called reaction to President Obama. And we dropped in January and then continued to drop into March. And of course, you know what happened there. There was no looking back from that point on, and we just had an amazing um, five-year run since the drop after the inauguration. Let's go back to two. So take away here, nothing. Because of the Obama inauguration, um, and perhaps a reaction to that, which apparently was unfounded, um, I'm going to throw out this data point altogether. I'm going to go back and look at 2008 now, and um, here's January, and this was just a declining year right from, the, right from the opening January bell. We just saw nothing good. So I'm going to sort of reject that year as well as the last of a presidential year, and also um, the recovery from 2007. So we are still sputtering. 2007 is something we don't want to remember, but here's January, 
and uh, well, we know what 2007 was. So I think the data that we can take away really starts in 2010. And if we expand our, uh, let me just go into a weekly mode here. Let's go back to five years. And let's start with January of 2010. right here we've just had a tremendous run since then but our Januaries have been strong up 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 down in 2014 but then very strong so what to expect in the first quarter um, I would say that uh, based on this I would expect some kind of a pullback to occur between the middle of January and the end of February. And that's the way I'm going to play it, cautious that way. And I also see the RSI being extended here. So let's look at the stochastic RSI. Here's an area where it's um, overbought, was preceded by a drop down. Here's an area where it's overbought, but it lasted a long time into the overbought. The pullback was very shallow, and then we had this V bottom in the stochastic RSI. Here's another one here, very long over sold position, followed by pull back to the 50. I'll just pick another one at random. How about this one right here? This one was another long over bought area, and we just continued to move up. Um, the stochastic RSI was not much of a valuable indicator for us here. How about here? Um, sort of. But I mean, if we had sold any time in here, we'd have missed more of a move up. But as the stochastic started to move down, we did see a minor pullback. And that's really all we saw in 2014 was minor pullbacks and uh, sharp V bottoms. So there's a look at five years, six years of the S&P. What does it tell us about the first quarter? Um, strong beginning of January uh, and anything's possible from the middle of January to the end of February.